In this screencast, we're going to talk about characteristics of underdamped processes. So the response of an underdamped second order system to a step change input can be characterized according to several parameters that are easy to pick out from the graph of the solution. The first one we're going to discuss is rise time, which is the time that's required for the, your solution to cross the new steady state value for the first time. Now there's an analytical expression for your rise time in terms of the parameters that you can find in your second order differential equation. And so your rise time is going to be equal to your natural period tau n times the uh, pi 3.14 minus phi divided by the square root of 1 minus your damping factor zeta squared where phi is equal to the inverse tangent of the square root of 1 minus the damping factor squared divided by your damping factor. The second one is overshoot. Overshoot is the ratio of B over D, these two distances. And the overshoot is going to basically give you an estimation of how far your solution overshoots your new steady state value. And it's normalized by how far it had to go to that steady state value from its original steady state. So this overshoot ratio, B over D, can also be solved for analytically. And that's equal to E to the power minus pi times your damping factor zeta divided by the square root of 1 minus your damping factor squared. Now, as you can see here, you can estimate this completely from your damping factor. Or alternatively, if you can measure your overshoot off of a graph of your response time, let's say you take some data for how your um, solution responds to a step change input, then if you measure your overshoot from that graph, then you can algebraically back calculate what zeta ought to be. The next parameter that's often talked about is something called the decay ratio. And that's the ratio between the height of your second peak and the height of your first peak. And this ratio, C over B, actually turns out to be just the same as your first ratio of your overshoot, B over D, squared. So in the same way, you can estimate what zeta is if you measure um, the successive heights of your two first peaks. Now, the fourth parameter that we're going to talk about is the period, which is just the time for one complete cycle, which is a time distance from this point to this point or any two points that are the same place in your oscillation curve. Now the period t can also be solved for analytically, and that's going to be equal to 2 pi times your natural period tau n divided by the square root of 1 minus your damping factor zeta squared. The final parameter that we're going to talk about doesn't have a very simple analytical solution, but it's called the rise time or the settling time. And that's the amount of time it's going to take for your solution to finally get and stay within a 5% band, where it's the 5% band of your original distance that you went from zero to your steady state or D.